this will be a case based discussion of mucopolysaccharidosis cases um, basically on x-ray before watching this video you can go and watch my approach to skeletal dysplasia uh, on our page radiology doodles uh, on youtube and after watching that video this video will become easier and the case discussion will be more understandable so these group of disorders are a group of heritable lysosomal storage disorders in which there is deficiency of a group of enzymes those group of enzymes are called glycosaminoglycan degrading enzymes so if degrading enzymes are deficient there will be accumulation of glycosaminoglycans in various organ systems especially affecting heart respiratory system bones joints and cna we'll discuss the types and brief clinical features of each type there are totally seven types first type is the hurler's disease where there is deficiency of alpha l iduronidase presence as corneal clouding organomegaly heart diseases in the patient mental retardation and childhood mortality is more in these cases there is dysostosis multiplex in skeletal system hurler's further has subtypes that is s type or she's disease h type or hurler's disease and sh type that is mixed coming to the second type that is hunter's disease in which there is deficiency of iduronidase sulfatase it will lead to accumulation of heparan sulfate which is a glycosaminoglycan there is dysostosis multiplex in skeletal system organomegaly short stature death within 15 to 20 years is seen in such cases the third type is san filippos this has subtypes that is in subtype a there is heparan sulfamidase deficiency subtype b this n acetyl glycosaminidase deficiency in subtype c there is acetyl coa alpha glucosaminidase deficiency the child will be hyperactive with mental retardation in these cases coming to one of the most important and more common types that we see in radiology practice that is morcus syndrome which has morcus a and b morcus a has galactose 6 sulfatase deficiency leading to accumulation of keratin sulfate in the tissues morcus b has beta galactosidase deficiency patient presents with dysostosis multiplex that is multiple skeletal disorders and then short stature and motor dysfunction type 5 is obsolete now and it is put under the subtype type 1 mucopolysaccharidosis so now we'll move on to type 6 that is mortex lamy syndrome in which there is deficiency of n acetyl galactosamine 4 sulfatase patient has dysostosis multiplex short stature motor dysfunction kyphosis and heart defects they survive up to teen last subtype is this light disease in which there is beta glucuronidase deficiency they present with hepatomegaly corneal clouding and developmental defects all these subtypes are autosomal recessive disorders that is more common in consanguineous marriages except hunters which is x linked disorder radiologically we come across hurlers and morcus more commonly so we'll discuss these both in detail now first let's discuss hurler syndrome or mucopolysaccharidosis 1 coming to clinical features how the child might present child will have coarse facial features with large head widely spaced eyes or telomerism sunken nose large lips with protruding tongue and malformed teeth there will be corneal opacity or clouding present 
deafness will be present in the child with mental retardation there will be associated hepatosplenomegaly also in these children other additional features can be cardiac defects and trident hand hurler syndrome is also known as gargoyleism clinically and this is a triad consisting of mental retardation dwarfism and corneal clouding we have to get skeletal survey in such cases detail about skeletal survey is mentioned in our approach to skeletal dysplasia video in skull x-ray we see macrocephaly frontal bossing calvarial thickening there will be widening of mandibular angle there can be premature closure of sutures most important part which we have to notice is j shaped cella this is pathognomonic coming to x ray of dorso lumbar spine there will be curvature defects like thoraco lumbar kyphosis bulbous vertebral bodies that is oval shaped vertebral bodies with pointing pointing of antero inferior part of the vertebral body is called as antero inferior beaking just typical or pathognomonic for this disease in cervical spine there will also be atlanto axial instability next we have to look at chest x ray in chest x ray we have to concentrate on the ribs and the shape of the ribs we here we can see there is flaring of the anterior end of the ribs that is also called as paddle or spatulated ribs next we have pelvis with bilateral hips in which there will be coxa valga or vara and there will be obliquely directed acetabular roofs we have very important radiograph that is radiograph of hand where there will be proximally pointed metacarpals classic for mucopolysaccharidosis in general the, uh, the distal end of radius and ulna will be sloping towards each other there will be osteoporosis and short and wide phalanges in this cases moving on to next common type that is morrequeu syndrome or mucopolysaccharidosis 4 clinical features are the child will be normal at birth and the symptoms will start once the weight bearing starts so this is how the child might look like there will be dwarfism there will be kyphoscoliotic defects there will be short neck genu valgum flexor contractures coming to facial features in particular there can be depressed nasal bridge there can be widely set eyes deformed poorly spaced teeth corneal opacity may or may not be present and mental capacity is normal in these kids children one of the most important x rays is dorso lumbar spine x rays in these cases morcues will show platyspondyly in hurlers we had oval shaped or bulbous vertebra here we have flattened or platyspondyly with central beaking there is no anterior inferior beaking there is central beaking in these cases kyphoscoliotic defects can be present and more important than this is the disc spaces always observe the disc spaces they are either normal or increased in spondylo epiphyseal dysplasia there will be decreased disc spaces moving on to pelvis with bilateral hip x rays there are hypoplastic oblique acetabular roofs bilaterally with coxa vara or valga similar to hurlers there can be constricted iliac bodies with pelvic cavity looking something like this that is elongated pelvic inlet again long bones and hand x rays very important in mucopolysaccharidosis there is ulna deviation of hands in mps4 there can be fragmented epiphyses with same proximally pointed metacarpals present in the hands skull x-ray shows dolichocephaly prominent maxilla with poorly developed mastoid sinuses and air cells the thorax on cross section shows pectus carinatum these are the lungs there will be increased ap diameter 
on ap x rays we can see wide and short ribs with bulbous costochondral junctions let's summarize and see the difference between hurlers and molecules in one slide in hurlers we have normal vertebral height in molecules we have platyspondyly hurler shows antero inferior beaking here we have central beaking anterior inferior looks like this central beaking looks like this mental retardation clinically is common in hurlers there will be no mental retardation in molecules j shaped cella and macrocephaly is pathognomic for hurlers there will be dolichocephaly in molecules spatulated ribs here we have wide and short ribs there will be hypoplastic fragmented epiphysis in molecules in hurlers we don't have that these are the most important differences between both for more such case discussions and exam related videos for md and dnb radiology exams follow our page on instagram and youtube at radiology doodles thank you